This is kind of weird. It looks like a sacrifice table. My name is Bear, Bear Lawrence. I'm gonna rock you at least once a week. My name is Bear, Bear Lawrence. What is this for you? <laughs> right now we are up on top of a giant cliff in Jamestown, Rhode Island, and we're at a fort known as Fort Witherell. Originally called Fort Dumpling during the American Revolution, Fort Witherell was used as coastal defense during World War I and World War II. After World War II, the United States military left this place abandoned in 1946. In 1972, the state of Rhode Island actually acquired the fort and turned it into an official state park. Come along and join us as we go and explore Fort Witherell. And who knows, maybe we'll even come across some old ammunition or even a cannon. I highly doubt we're going to find any of that stuff, but who knows what's going to happen on these adventures. So here at Fort Witherell, there's actually a bunch of different areas just like this. It has almost a similar setup to another fort we've been to called Fort Revere. If you want to see that, click right up there in the corner. So we're going to start in this section and then work our way around to all the other different sections here at the fort. I love how this fort just has a huge staircase that leads up to the top. I don't know why, but I just really like the way that looks. Similar to other coastal forts around this area, this is where one of the huge cannons would have been mounted. It's a little bit overgrown with trees and stuff, but down in there, it's where they would have mounted the cannon in this circular area. A lot of forts around here in New England have a lot of the same architecture and style. They all have these circular areas where they would mount the cannons. Over here on the other side, you can get a better view at where the cannons would have been mounted. This area isn't as grown over. Right down in there is where the cannons would have been mounted. Huge cannon right there, pointed out to the ocean, which is just on the other side of that wall. Here's the entrance to the underground bunker area of this fort. I can feel how cold it is like before we even get in there. It's freezing. Luckily at this fort we have way more powerful flashlights than the last time we explored a fort like this. Whoa. Look at this. It's all destroyed. What was that? Maybe like a door? And all the floor is just like peeling apart. So you just go down into this like sinkhole. There's a little room back here. With more of these weird tables. I don't know what these could have been. What do you think those were? Maybe they just like stood there. What do you think this all was? Maybe like stood there. Looks like the walls being ripped apart right in here. Is the entrance or exit door. And then look at this, some steel bars. Maybe this was like a jail area. I highly doubt it though. So it looks like the side of the cliff caved in right here. All these boulders have fallen down. Look at this weird little corridor right here. It's so small, I don't even know how a person could fit in there. And it was definitely meant for a person because there's a doorway on here. See, there's the, like the bolts for the doors. How the hell could a person fit down here? I'm cramped just standing in here. Here's some more parts to the old doorway. Wonder what the old door looked like. Whoa, what the hell? Where'd you just go? <laughs> it's one of those little secret corridors. Let's go in and check it out. It's full of trash. Oh, it's wet in here and echoey. What do you think this area was used for? I don't know, maybe like the fort got like, infiltrated to have like extra... Almost like a hiding place? Yeah, kind of. Oh, so we exit out here to like a little wooded area. So that's the little hole that we came out of and those are the bars that were on the window that we saw earlier. And this little ramp must be the ramp leading up to the top floor. Let's go up and check out the top floor. See what's up here. But it looks like we're gonna have to go through the jungle a little bit to go get to the other parts of the fort. Lots of overgrown trees and stuff around here. I feel like I'm on like a legit adventure though. Climbing through the trees, all the abandoned ruins. Here's another section of the fort. Now let's see how we can get into this place. Try going around this way. This is a pretty steep incline we're climbing up right now. Man, I got the backpack on so I'm pretty much like a turtle if I fall over. Yo! It's a whole nother section of the fort over here. Hidden Mickey. This is one of those circular areas like we saw before. And like I said, the cannon would have been mounted right in here. That's all filled in with dirt. So those little screws are what the cannon would have been screwed into. So this would have been the base for the cannon. I don't know what this area could have been used for. Like what the hell, what is this thing right here? Do you have any idea what that is? I can't come up with a bullshit answer. Maybe they like stored their ammo around this area? Maybe that has something to do with the ammo? Maybe it's a table. A table for sacrifices? 
climbing up the stairs to another cannon area. So another cannon would have been mounted right there, facing out to the ocean. Let's go down this ramp and go inside the bunkers of this little area. Through the trees. Adventure. Yeah. Ow. Oh, did I hit you? Yeah. I got wet. Just a little bit. Yo, check this out right now. We're heading down the ramp to the underground area. And there's this cool archway. Yo, Trash, let's go in there. After you. I'm gonna break my back going in these places. Oh my god, this is insane. What the hell? Little twists and turns. <laughs> hopefully there's no rake rooms in here. Right? Or hole belows. Yeah, hopefully there's no hole belows. What the hell is that? It's got floor mat to a car. Oh, there's no hobos, but there's a big robot on the wall. I don't think there, oh yeah, there is a way this way. Holy Damn. shit, it is so dark. And narrow, yeah, you're right. Like, I feel like if you were a big Jamala, you're not getting down here. Yeah, big boys need not apply. <laughs> oh man, this is nuts. Oh, the light at the end of the tunnel. That tunnel was so long, but we are finally at the end. And we gotta duck down again. Oh, we're on the complete other side. Oh, what the like hell? Like where we walked, we walked up this ramp to get up to the top. We're gonna head back around this way and try to get to the front of the fort. What? We didn't go in here yet. Wait, this isn't, no, this isn't the way, we must have gone around this. So when we were just walking around to those corridors, we were actually walking along all these walls. So we haven't even been in this area yet. I thought that was all there was. Look on the ceiling. We've never seen anything like that before. I wonder if that was used to like operate the cannon. Do you think they, they used that? Like maybe the ammunition would come back down here? Like drop into this little pit right here? Uh, is that a noose? Oh my God, dude, what the hell? Why is there a rope like that? That's wicked creepy. You don't think... Left. Okay, yeah, I'm out of this area now. Not again! No, no way. Too many devil symbols in these places. I don't think that looks like... Okay, I'm pretty no. sure... I'm pretty sure we just found a noose and a pentagram. I'm sweating right now. I'm pretty... I'm honestly pretty scared. Like, what if somebody like did something bad in this place? I'm actually not gonna stand in here while saying that, so I'm out. So as I'm walking along, I thought we had already been in this area, because as you can see, it's like the same archway like before. But we haven't even explored this area. This is a whole place we kind of skipped over. When we walked through those tunnels, we literally walked around this whole area. So this is another bunker area that we haven't even been in yet. And I swear to God, if we find another noose or a pentagram, I'm gonna freak. All right, moment of truth. Okay, there's no rope, so I'm pretty sure we found a noose earlier. Hopefully no one did anything bad. Hurt themselves or someone else. Oh, this is just like the room earlier, but no uh, pentagram. We must have walked past this and didn't even notice. No way. Yeah, this is the hallway we were walking down earlier. Break rooms in here. Or hole below. The tunnels are so creepy. I like them now. They're probably my favorite part so far. Yo, wait, there's something in the woods over here. I think there's more forts that way. Down there. Okay. I'll go down there and look. Yeah. Lo I see like the gate kind of looking thing. Oh shit. It goes straight down. I, I told you. So there's people over there. We have no idea what they're doing. It looked like they were working on something. So I don't want to come across like a murder witness scene. So we're going to just go back from where we came because I have no idea what they're doing over there. And it looked, uh, looked pretty sketchy. Oh, what the hell? It's like a lookout tower. You all right, Willie Scott? <laughs> Look at this. It's a freaking lookout tower. Like a little bunker. Maybe there's a cannon mounted right here. They would have shot out to sea. They could have looked in the harbor for submarines or something. German U-boats. Yo, we're straight up in an old abandoned lookout tower right now. This is so cool. Now we're gonna walk down this path and head back to the first area we explored here at the fort. Then we're gonna make our way around to all the other areas to the right side of the fort. Here's where we started the video. And now we're gonna head down this way and go right up those stairs and go check out the second floor right up there. We are hiking up those stairs, going up 
towards this little, I don't know, maybe an observation tower. Check this place out. This is so sick. Whoa, this is a big ass killer bee right there. But look at this little observation tower. I'm guessing that's what this is. It was like a lookout tower. Like probably the members of the military would have like gone over here to see if like there was anything out in the harbor. Cause I imagine when this fort was in operation, all the trees there were gone. This is actually a huge room up here on top of the fort. Now we're gonna go right in here through this giant opening into this area right here, another underground bunker type area. Wow, this place is pitch black. So creepy. And look at this. The water droplets go around the graffiti. That's so bizarre. Um, Ben? What? Yo, what the hell? It's a blanket. Why is there a blanket? Do you think someone lives in here? Uh, I hope not. Whoa, well, what if they hide down these little holes? Well, then don't announce that we're here. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. They could have just taken off down there when they heard us coming. But look at these weird little holes. Maybe that's a hobo toilet. Well, there's more blankets. Yeah, that's so weird. More blankets over there in the corner. Well, if this is someone's home, we're gonna let them live in peace. Look up in this hole. Some national treasure secrets in there. Nicholas Cage, national treasure right there. We just found the hidden secrets of Fort Witherell. Whoa, this room is so damaged. The floor just has big holes in it. And the ground's all ripped up right here. And this is kind of weird. It looks like a sacrifice table. <laughs> That's so creepy. Right up here, if we hop up, is another area where the cannons were. Cannon would have been mounted right in there. This is just one of those standard, regular old cannon areas. If we continue up here, we're gonna make our way to another area of the fort, which is way different than the other areas. It looks like a lot different. There's a lot of like stairs, and it's a bigger open area. And what is this little thing right in there? I have no idea what that thing is. Trash, I think that's a grill. Like, do you think they would have like grilled like cheeseburgers and stuff over there? Franks, hot dogs. And yeah, like that looks like a grill, I think. So most of this is fenced off. You can obviously walk down there, but another base for the cannon. We'll go down there and check that out in just a second. But just look at the scale of this place. It's absolutely huge. It's just crazy to think that right down in this huge hole would have been a cannon. Right down in here. Imagine how big the cannon must have been to fit in this little circle. Look at this, this is kind of cool. You can actually see the track that the cannon would rotate on. The cannon would rotate on that track all around this giant circle. Over here, some of that part is broken off. So there's no track for the cannon to rotate on, but I don't think the cannon's operating anytime soon. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way all the way around the top floor of the fort. Then we're gonna go down and do all the underground stuff. So as always, there's another cannon area. And this part of the fort is pretty much the one in the most state of disrepair. Like here's a prime example of just how beat up this old fort looks. You can just see how the fort is like crumbling apart over here. The other areas are kept up pretty well, but this part of the fort is really just falling apart. Take a look at these crooked little stairs right here. And this is actually the last cannon area. We have made it to the end of the fort. This place is massive, and we're still not even done yet. Right there is where the cannon would have been, and this one actually goes down really deep. The other ones were filled in, but this one wasn't. So you can really see how far down it actually went, and there's like all kinds of junk just piled up in there. I can't believe that we checked out all of the sections here. On this side of the fort, there's a whole other part of the fort down the street that we're gonna go to in a little bit. So we're gonna go down into this tunnel and make our way down. <laughs> To all the other tunnels. So let's head on down here. Oh, we're greeted by Homer Simpson. That's that's very nice. Oh, here's like a old iron door. This must have been the door to actually get in here when this place was in operation. Goodbye, sunshine. I know it's so dark down here. Oh, look at this. 
giant hole into the ceiling. Whoa, what are these traps? Yo, what, yeah, what are those? They go like all throughout this area. They go all like, the way down in here. It goes and, like in this entire room. Yeah, what is up with that? Another entrance into the bunker areas. Whoa, it's big like pipes in the ground in here. It's kind of weird. Watch your step. Giant brick, some wood. Oh, what the hell? And then it just opens up to some more corridors down there. An entrance to the outside and a staircase to the top. But we've already explored the top, so we're gonna head into the dark down here. This is like the same as that other area. It's got those tracks. I have no idea what these tracks could have been used for. And it also has this giant hole in the ceiling. Another little room right here. And I don't know what the hell this is. Oh, it must be a fireplace. At first I thought it was a toilet. Like that's the seats right there. This whole area kind of has a similar structure, like just different steps leading up and a door to the outside and then more creepy corridors. And more of those damn tracks on the ceiling. I still don't know what they are and I really wanna know. Like it's actually kind of bothering me because I don't know what these tracks are used for. So now we're back at this area and right here we can actually go even further down into the basement of the fort. I don't know what these little rooms were. Maybe like the living quarters or just some offices. But there's a whole bunch of them. And check this out. And when we come out this door, it's just like a whole hallway of different rooms. And more of the damn mystery tracks. Look, they go in here. And they're just all over the place and I still have no idea what they're used for. My only guess as to what these like tracks could have been used for is maybe like a hospital. Oh, like the, the curtains to kind of like... Divide. Yeah, like they would have like divided all like the patients in case anybody got sick here at the fort. Probably. My only guess is what these could have been used for. A giant open room. There's another hole in the ceiling. See, Tresh, that's for the grill. You start the fire right down here on the floor. All the smoke goes out, cooks the meat and stuff. I'm telling you, Tresh, it's a grill. Freezing. What the hell? It just dropped like 20 degrees when we walked in this one room. Look. Oh my god, you can see your breath. It's so cold in here. Uh-uh. I don't like this. This one room is pitch black and ice cold. So this is the super cold room. It has these grates on the side of the wall too, which is really scary. What the hell were they trying to keep in here? So we finished with pretty much this whole section of the fort. Now we're going to make our way back around to where we started the video. All right, so after walking around here for like almost three hours, we have finally made it back to the area where we started. Now we're gonna hop in the car and head like two minutes down the road to the other section of the fort. We're gonna go explore that for a little bit. Then we're gonna call it a day. So let's hop in the car and go check out that other fort. Ooh, okay, so we just parked our car up at the other section of the fort. Now we're hiking up there to go see what this area of the fort looks like. So this area kind of looks like it's all fenced off. And it only looks like it's two sections of this. The circular area where the cannons are. There's one there, as well as one over there. From the looks of it, there's no way actually in there other than hopping the fence and going down one of those ladders. So I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So we have made it inside the actual fort. We hopped the fence, climbed down the ladder, you know the deal. But we're inside the fort. We're gonna walk around, check this place out. It kind of has a similar structure and setup to the ones that we explored earlier today, but we're still gonna come and check it out anyway. So like I was saying, it's pretty much set up the same. You got the little circular area where the gun would have been mounted right up there. But even up here where the cannon area is, there's all these little buildings. And I'll show you the inside. You come right over here, and don't miss a step, because it leads right down to the bottom right there. Oh look, it's another grill, Shresh. <laughs> See, I'm telling you. Right, right, hey, right there, grill. See, fire. Hey, hey, hibachi! Come to the second cannon area. There's only two of these cannon areas at this side of the fort. And this is one of them. And there's actually no rooms up here, as far as we know. 
So we're gonna have to somehow get down to the bottom to go investigate the rooms. Let's check over here just to make sure. Nope. Just another drop straight down into hell. On some steps leading down into some of the rooms, some of the underground bunkers. If we walk through the trees, you get a great view of this little cove right here, which is actually really nice. But then if we come over here into the weed smelling corridor and try not to slip. Oh man, little creepy area right here. Yeah, what's this? It be like a bed? Hobo bed right there, confirmed. Just a little creepy room. There was one more, so we'll go check that out. Look down and through here appears to be another doorway to another room. If we can get down without dying. I don't know uh, what these rooms could have been used for. Maybe storing things. Oh look, there's actually wood still on the wall. That's something you don't see. There's wood still up on the wall. That's really cool. They probably would have stored ammunition in these little rooms. So we're gonna climb back up the ladder, go all the way back around from where we came, and go down again to go explore the underground of this area. Yo, this thing is sketchy. So here's the entrance to the underground area of the fort. It looks like there's a little gate, but it actually looks like it's open today. What's really cool about this fort is that they leave a lot of it open to the public, so people can just walk in and go explore it. It's really cool. Here's another little room. Similar to all the other rooms, of course. They all just basically look the same. I always wonder what these rooms are when there's a bunch of the same ones right next to each other. There's always a mystery at these places because you don't know what these rooms could have been. They could have been jail cells, they could have been offices, could have been rooms for the men to sleep in. What the hell is that all for? Oh, yo. A little fireplace area, maybe? Creepy hand on the wall. A lot of pipes on the ground as well. This is that area we saw earlier where the floor had just caved through. And look at this, it's like a giant spool of like rope or wire. What is that? It's wire cable right there. <laughs> what the hell? Damn. Looks like people just came and trashed this joint. All kinds of wood on the floor. What the hell is this all from? Mm -hmm. So weird. Yo, Riley wants Tom Hanks to love him. Riley, he wants Tom Hanks to love him. <laughs> Whoa, this is, like, this is the torture room. All these things on the ceiling, they strap people down in here. It's Ooh. really echoey as well. It goes on and on forever. Let's go walk all the way down to the other end. Oh, what's around here? What turns? Yeah, whoa, what the hell? Oh, it's a door. We haven't even seen a door at this place. Those are all things of cable in there. That's so weird. I don't know what these cables could have been used for. It looks like rope, but... I mean, it could still be rope, but think about how many years ago this is from. That's actually true. Maybe this is rope. No, it definitely feels... I, I actually don't know. I don't know if this is rope or if it's cable. I think it's... Because, like, it sounds solid, like it's metal cable, but it looks like rope. You guys be the judge in the comments below. Is that rope or is it cable? Thank you so much for joining us as we went and checked out Fort Witherell. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to see more from cool places all over New England, including cool forts just like this one, make sure to subscribe here. And we're at Fort, no, never mind. We are up on top, fuck, someone yelled. And we are at a cliff that is. You wanna fucking not? In 1972, the, fuck. I like that architecture right there. Why'd I say that? <laughs> just cut that part out. That's cool. I love how this fort just has a huge staircase right here that leads up to the top. Gotta do that one again. Walks in the frame, it's cool. A lot of the forts around this area on the East Coast have similar architecture styles. That's not even a real, like, sentence. Over here on the other side, you can get a... Fuck. We're gonna catch some hole belows. I like your moves, dude. Oh my god.
That overexposure, I look like a freaking, I don't even know what. Ah! I don't know where these little stairs could have led to. Maybe there's like a lookup tower up here. Possibly. Look at this, it's a little hidey hole over here. What could they have hid in that little hole? Another little hidey hole right there. Let's go down that little ramp again and go fuck. And do we're something. Gonna what? We're gonna what? We're, we're gonna go fuck. Okay, that's definitely a coyote's nest. Oh something. man, what if it is? Imagine if we came across a coyote. Right now we're gonna fuck. But right now we're gonna head down this pathway to the see the fuck. So we are climbing up. Oh, we gotta go start that over on the. Whoa, it's so like, it's so open over here. This whole area, I don't even know what I wanna say about that. So right over in this area, there's almost like miniature little stalactite, fuck. Miniature little stalactites right there. And what's crazy is on the ground are some stalagmites. Fresh look, it's another grill right there. I'm telling you, see look, there's wood right there. So then they can burn it to like cook stuff up. Like look at how big that cannon must have been. It's not even in focus. Welcome to Chile. Another entrance into the underground. Wrench. We can go even further underground here. So let's head down these stairs to the very bottom of the floor. <laughs> I said the very bottom of the floor. What the I fuck know, does that I even know, mean? I, <laughs> I really like the architecture. Trash, I really like the architecture. Pretty much has the same structures. Fuck. No, I have to go all the Oh no, it is an old circuit board right there. I thought it was a smashed up soda can. I don't have my glasses on. I don't have my glasses, so I can't see. That is one gnarly soda can. We literally spent hours wandering around and exploring. Fuck. Make sure to subscribe here and go check out all of our other forts and shit. And if you want to see more cool places all around New England and want to see cool forts like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Why did I do the thumbs up for the like button? You mean subscribe button?